Hey, it's all about quality, not about quantity, right? Let's get back to another round of Bruise Day Tuesday with Drez and Huck. Bruise Day Wednesday. Make up your mind. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so this is the secret beer. Look at that. Uh, again. Oh, that was nice. That was CO2 right there. A good, again, good old Kelly hooked it Perfect. up and poured this thing proper. I bet Kelly was pretty. Kelly was cute. She was real cute, and I was like, hell yeah, Kelly. And and then when I came back to fill up the growlers when they had closed, that was another thing that was real cool was like, because I wanted to fill the growlers, she was like, well, they close at 12. I was like, man, but our car's parked like two blocks away, and I have to go get them and blah, blah, blah. She's like, that's fine. You know, just call, and we'll let you in, you know, even though they're closed. Um, but you got to pay for them now. I'm like, oh, yeah, sure. Um, yeah, she figured you'd never be so, back. No, no, yeah, right. <laughs> Extra profit to mine. And it would have been, but I'm not. I definitely came back. DJ tonight. Definitely came back. She let she let me in. She did it, and um, and uh, and then and of course I got to hang out with her boyfriend. Oh, uh, nice. The, yeah, he was cool though. They were all cool. Hey, Good Bill, people. How you doing? But you'll be excited for this one because this is the. I'm excited. All this then. is the smash. Number five. This is a double IPA. Jeez. And smash stands for, even though she, good old Kelly, wrote it backwards on the uh, on the label here. Single uh, no, malt, single malt, and single. What, wait, what's, she wrote it backwards? Smash. Well, yeah. no, I'm saying it, saying it the right way though. Single, single malt, malt and, and single, single. What's the H? Oh. Hops. Hops, yeah, exactly. Yeah, one hop. One hop. It's a one hopper. Well, give me your glass, good sir. Not baseball, but it's a one hopper. This is an 8.6%. Now we're getting up to the range where Huck is this happy. Is, this is your... This you know, is, you're like in the Huck medium happy range. Now we're getting up. I mean, I'm not super... I'm not ecstatic. That's a barley wine. Oh, look, we saved a lot of carbonation like in this part? one. No, that is good. nice. Uh, you, she did good. Three days in a growler? And you got that much head on it? Nice. Kelly's Kelly Kelly doesn't uh then short you on and the That's head, a high end right? growler there, my son. This is a good growler. This growler was actually a gift to me. From Star Hill? This is from Star Hill, yeah. you know. Yeah. It's a nice growler. We love Star Hill. Yeah. Nothing not you know, that's a good old Virginia local jams. But yeah. right now we're talking Asheville. All right, so Cheers. Let the foam go down just a hair. Oh, you want to wait a second? Yeah, I'll cheers you. I never pass a cheers. All right, let's do it. Paint the mustache. Mm. Mm. You like that, don't you? Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's a big old beer. That's a good beer. Mm-hmm. That is a good beer. Yeah. See, I, you know, I'm. I, I always say I'm not the biggest IPA guy. I'm not. I don't love the hoppy hops. But um, well, you might I be taller, like but I'm probably I, the biggest. I feel like that's. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's changed since I've been getting into crap. You know, your palates they start to change. You know, they develop. But I mean, this is just. I've been pounding it for your palate for twenty-seven weeks now. Not counting this week. Yeah, and I, I was getting it too. But but dude, this is this is one where I was like, wow, I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as I did. And for being eight point six, I was like, hell's yes, <laughs> smash will get you smashed, man. Oh yeah, yeah, I feel it. It's good. I feel you, I feel you. It's a good one, is it not? It is good. So we've been talking a lot about Asheville and stuff, but I know we. Uh, I definitely need to address the fact that you know obviously this is bruise day wednesday you were gone yesterday because you were coming back from the beer bloggers concert Con- or con- concert. concert it's like a concert this, this is a, this, this, the this music is, is not i swear good. this smash is getting to me um no but uh and i know we're going to delve into that probably weeks to come because a couple weeks yeah. i would say how much beer did you bring back from that for us to well, sample the, the thing the- about it is I, I brought back some some sours from europe mm that you can make your own sour from. We're going to do that one day. Oh, wow. I brought back some, like, Cigar City. Anyone that knows Florida knows it's some good beer. I found a, a brewery called Ale Wolf. It's an actual animal. animal, animal. They make their beer out of it. No, no. It's a, it's a, they named it after the animal. <laughs> okay. Uh, we went to some a great multi-tap bar. I'm going to discuss that. I hung out with some of the most wonderful beer people that ever existed i mean everything from people you know there's one one cool guy i hang out with it's he's actually like a, a delivery driver for a big distributor so you wouldn't think he'd come to the beer bloggers concert but he's so into beer and he's so knowledgeable about beer and all the way up to like the people owning these restaurants and breweries 
and the the big distributors and the little breweries. You know, this brewery right here is 1.5 barrel. I went to one day before yesterday that was like 50 gallons, which didn't even quite. I guess that's 1.5 barrels. Then let me. I, I, I'm just going to throw this out there. The Ardwolf. I was the reason I got there. I got there before everybody else because I was riding with an Uber driver and I wanted to go to another brewery. And he goes, "Well, my friend, I just dropped off at this brewery because they have this 1.7 gallon bat that they <laughs> make on Wednesdays." And you were like, "Let me go there." I'm like, "Okay." So we, we get there and I'm like, "You come in, I'll buy you a beer." And it was a pina colada beer. What? Mm, mm, yeah. Yeah. I didn't bring any back, needless well, to say. Well, you know, that's it didn't make it much past, much past our two glasses. <laughs> and then it was done. Yeah. So anyway, I got a bunch of stories. Yeah. So we probably stories, got three or four weeks of beers. this. Beers. Yeah. yeah, that's going to be... I'm, I'm excited to hear all that. Yeah. I, White beaches. Is, yeah, because it was down in Florida. This is the Beer Bloggers Conference, which is that not why you actually became a yeah, beer it's blogger? Actually why was so that you could go to this conference? I read about it and I said, I want to be a beer blogger, so I can go to this conference in Boulder. So it was, and, and, they, I, and they move. Yeah, we, I have it all figured out actually because yeah. last night we were talking about it. So it was Boulder, Portland, Indianapolis, Boston, San Diego, Asheville, and Tampa. Oh, so they had it in Asheville last year. Asheville, yeah, last oh, year. Wow. Last year, hmm. the V was down there on the uh, French Broad River, mm. dipping its toes in, <laughs> and the Uber drivers could never find me because it's like. Bill's campground. <laughs> they never heard of it because well, people in campgrounds don't ride Uber. I think. Yeah. So, well, obviously, we'll delve into that in the weeks to come because I, I have. But if you go to I, Asheville, I, I recommend. Questions. We're talking about Asheville. I, I recommend going to Bill's campground. Anyway, I'll bring. I've, I went to Jacksonville, Tampa, St. Pete. So I got a lot of information for you. Lots of and lots of beers to try. And lots of beers to try. And while we're on the topic of you know future Bruce Day Tuesdays, I did come across something in Asheville. That I that I had to get for you, all right. And I'm going to save that for a future Brews Day Tuesday as well, because well, a we're running short on time, and b yeah, when every time we get three and a lot of beer, yeah. yeah, three and a lot of beer. So, um, but just know that one of these weeks to come, you know, just let me know, and I'll I'll tap into that, no pun intended, and we can we can do that for one of the segments because you are you're it'll all, be it'll be a doozy. Well, you always do good to me, but don't worry, I brought you a surprise back too. Okay. Yeah, surprises <laughs> everywhere we go. It's great for this show. I don't know when I give it to you, but you'll get it eventually. <laughs> but, uh, all right. Well, all right, so we got to drink this and tell them what we I'm going to say, yeah, just take a few more sips because, like I said, you know, with these three segments, man, we got we to gotta get to it. But this is, obviously, this is some damn good beer. Yeah, I don't see any real problems with this beer. We got, you know, slightly, un- slightly hashtag unfiltered. <laughs> Very nice lacing. Um, you know, I can't, you know, how me, I am, I complain if the hops are in too early and I don't think they were. Mm-hmm. So I'm, you know, I'm leaning towards, and this has really got a lot of the same pra- flavor profile of the other two beers. I'm seeing a lot of consistency in this brewery. So you know how I am. I'm a five. You know what? Uh, you love consistency. Five it is. You're going rid of five. Five, yeah. A five. Five. It's hitting, and, and, and let's be honest, it does touch on what, at least three of your Top five favorite beers, yeah, right? Is yeah. it three, two? I, I always forget. It's free. Free. That's one. It's in my hand. It's in your hand, too. And I remember it. You'll definitely it's remember it. It's three. It's three, three. five. Three of the top five, yeah. so it's got to be a five. The only other two are the one I made. You didn't, obviously, you can't make this. And the next one. So and the next one. Which could, which, well, there's still plenty in this growler, so it might be <laughs> four of the top five. It could be. It could be. Uh, yeah, man. I mean, 8.6, and this, it's so... For a beer that's eight point six percent alcohol, it is very, very light. Yeah, I'm like not this, really tasting alcohol. I like, feel it, but I don't taste it. You feel like you can drink this, yeah, steady. Like you feel like this could be a session. Like you, if you sip, if you sip this drink, you'd be like, "All right, I'm gonna do it right now." Watch this. Watch, I'm watching. I'm watching. He's drinking. He's drinking. And what happens? Damn, that's really good. <laughs> <laughs> and then you think, "Wow, yeah, that's pretty good." And then you say, "What? What's the ABV on that?" And then when you say 8.6, your mind gets blown because it's not – it doesn't smack you in the face as a as a very potent beer like that. Like you said, lacing's fantastic. I love yeah, the color. Good looking beer. The flavor. Very, some great flavors to it. This is their – she wrote Smash number 5, so I don't know if that means that this is their fifth batch of this. Um, I'm not too sure. But, uh, but dude, it is... That indicates that, yeah, they're making different variations. Yes, yeah, but this is fantastic, man. I mean, you really, you can't go wrong with that. And, hey, it says it right there, smash number five. 
Might as well stick with it. I'll give it a five two, man. We'll double down and we'll, we'll agree on all these beers with their ratings. Is that true? They Did get that happen? That has never happened on Bruce Day so Tuesday, I see a smash let alone eight. Wednesday. Okay, I'm just gonna throw that an eight, a five, a seven, a smash ale. Are you looking on untapped? Yeah, there's a lot of smash ales out there. Are Same. you looking at they're you're looking at One World Brewing? One, one World, yeah. So that. this is number five. So I guess they've gone back to it. So you would think they would keep going, you know, if they've done an eight. Well this the eight was a Pacific Jade. Well, it's it's an IPA American. They did it, yeah. They did, a, yeah. They they got a lot of beers here. So yeah, that smash is kind of probably there. Let's do experimental stuff and blow your blow your socks. I off. guess yeah, because it is you know. Yeah, let's do something. Fun. Single malt and single hops, and yeah. then they can so, do whatever. Yeah, I with guess it. whichever malt. Yeah, all those are probably different styles of beer, mm-hmm. different single malts, different single hops. I like the theory, and I think I remember being told that. Yeah. I've been so. told a lot of things in my life that I don't remember. <laughs> but I remember Especially that one. Especially after a few of these. You're not gonna, it's not going to be easy nah, to nah, remember. It's going to be difficult. <laughs> but, yeah, man, the smash number five, I guess uh, the double IPA from One World Brewing. I don't – and and Huck will attest to this. I don't dish out fives very very lightly. You are not as loose I can, with I th- your fives. I may be able to not count on one hand how many fives I've given let, but I'd still say with – on two hands, how many fives I've ever given out. You're not a big fiver. I I don't, because beers, I mean, to me, that's got to be like a perfect beer. Yeah, to me, it's got to be like a high five, good beer. (laughs) High five. All right. Isn't that what it means? High five on your beer. But I I tell you, man, this is is a solid one. So, yes, if you ever do make it out to Asheville, definitely hit up uh, One World Brewing. They got lots of good brews. And, and. I guess try the farm burger. I, I wish I got to try yeah, do, one of those. Do that, and I believe they had some special fries going on and stuff too. Some good fries, yeah, and different like you know healthy food. I didn't have any of that, of course. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> who, who do you eat that? Yeah, come on now. But uh, there we go, man. So that's Bruce Day Wednesday. Uh, Huck, thanks for coming in a day late. <laughs> hey. And, um, I flew in yesterday. My arms are still tired. Still tired. But um, thanks, everybody, for uh, for listening. And, of course, like always, HuxBeerBuzz.com, uh, the YouTube channel, the Facebook page, all that good stuff. Twitter. You know where we are. Yeah, you know Come where to find it. And, uh, and like always, uh, we will be back hopefully on Tuesday next week. You're not leaving town again. No, right? I'm good to go for a while. All right, man. So next Tuesday we'll Floyd delve. Fest is my, my next expedition. Oh, okay. Well, and I'm sure there's plenty of good beers at oh, Floyd Fest. Mercy. Too. We'll dive into oh, mercy. That's a whole other episode. Uh, we'll that's the do. episode right there. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, we'll delve into, uh, what, what happened at the Beer Bloggers Conference and, uh, try some of that fun stuff on next week's episode of Bruce Day Tuesday. And right now we'll take a quick break, play some tunes, and we'll be back right here on 105.3 The Bear. Stick around.